put together this huge base of people within the music and fashion industry and television industry, music industry, all those kinds of industries that um, they all show this similar language in, in photos. And it really is a non-linguistic, non-verbal language. And at the root of it is Gnosticism, it's the secret knowledge, this hidden wisdom, supposedly, but it's all through the soul. It's all through, so it's not the spirit and it's not the Holy Spirit. It's through the soul. It's through man's own reasoning. And and man, because he doesn't have access and is cut off from the Holy Spirit, remember we talked about that so much before that when our parents, Adam and Eve, got spiritually damned. What that meant was not only did they get kicked out of the garden, which was a big deal, where God and man yoked and lived together in union and beautiful harmony, but I would also say that the Holy Spirit left their temples, and, and, and death is separation, not going out of existence. And so the Holy Spirit left the temple of Adam and Eve, and that left them with a body that had a soul in it so and then we're born into that same type of world without the holy spirit in us no internal sense of who and what god is and therefore you have christ coming and saying you must be born again you must get the holy spirit back inside you and then there's so much information in the bible about that seed that incorruptible seed peter told us going back in the barn, back in the temple, that seed being planted in the dirt. Adam and Eve's bodies were made from the same scientific, whatever you want to call them, compounds, makeup, um, elements, I guess you could say, um, from the dust of the earth, the dirt of the, the earth. So God is taking these really, really simple agricultural concepts where I think everybody on the planet has at least poked a hole in the in the soil and put a seed in the soil, covered it over, watered it, exposed it to sunlight, maybe talked to it because they like that too. And uh, and watch the process of, of growth of the seed into what ends up being a plant or whatever. So you can get your fruit and your veg and whatever. And so God takes these simplistic little learning lessons and it's quite gratifying. People will tell you when they grow their own food or they grow their own whatever. And, and it is. And God uses these living pictures to help us understand that the Holy Spirit is our in incorruptible seed through Jesus Christ and what he's done to the death, burial and resurrection. And that we can have his incorruptible, beautiful seed of God planted within our soil of our hearts as these natural people. So body, temple, and soul, and then you get the seed in the barn. You get the Holy Spirit in your temple. Well, you have to remember that these people in entertainment don't have access to the Holy Spirit. So when they crave the, the spiritual experience, they're actually going to the enemy for their wisdom. And that is going to be your counterfeit. You know, it's better to have God because he's a Holy Spirit. But these people are going after dark spirits, lying spirits, new age spirits, hidden wisdom spirits. And, and, um, it's, it's, it's Lucifer, <laughs> the light bearer, the adversary. So that's kind of what you have to have in the backdrop of your mind. And I want to show you something in a little bit here uh, to connect it all together. But I want to show you what, what Josh had to share with, um, and this is a boy who's dressed up as a girl in Satanism. Everything gets inverted. We've done videos talking about that. Billy Eilish, who's being really heavily promoted and pushed within the mainstream media. And has very dark, demonic, very evil spiritual videos. And she has a friend. And this friend is uh, Aurora. And I don't know how to pronounce her last name. She's from another country. But let's let's listen because he's got two of these. And I want to talk about her philosophy. I want to talk about where her spiritual philosophy takes her. Sisters, 
One eye symbolism. One eye symbolism. Hanging out with Billie Eilish, so their fans are young and don't understand that the world is biblical. That Jesus Christ is real and having faith in him is the meaning of life. Yes. Being born again. This world is completely sold out. Famous people are famous because they're in the club. What club? The satanic one. It's not a joke. It's not funny. They won't be laughing if they keep up their ways. And they're making people follow them, worship them, idolize them. One eye symbolism. One eye symbolism. One eye symbolism. One eye symbolism. Winking. That one might be a stretch, right? Oh, she's just winking, but it's one eye symbolism. Yeah. And there's some more one eye symbolism. The vow of silence. Three sixes on her hand. One eye symbolism. One eye symbolism. One eye symbolism in the vow of silence. One eye symbolism. One eye symbolism. Winking again for one eye symbolism. Three sixes. One eye symbolism. Three sixes over her eye. Fallen angel oh. mockery. Wow. One eye symbolism. Three sixes on her hand. One eye symbolism. Supporting the gay and LGBT community. And people go, it's in love. The Lord calls gay... <laughs> the Lord calls gay actions homosexuality, transgenderness, an abomination. You can read that for yourself in the Bible. Yes, that is the standard to live by. Our Lord Jesus Christ is real and true. This world is biblical. That is not of God. They've, well, they stole that. They stole the rainbow, which is God's covenant not to flood the world again. Mm -hmm. And they pervert it for the gay agenda. And she has three sixes over one eye for satanic symbolism. Look into these things. I have much more videos on my channel. If you want to look into that, you can research yourself. Then he also has another more recent one where she gets into her worldview. And it's just going to take me a second to find. It's right here. Aurora does what she wants. Do what thou wilt, which is Crowleyan and satanic philosophy it's all up to you bubby you just do whatever you feel like doing wow and i think the biggest difference between difference between me and many people i meet is that i'm extremely free i i've never really cared about what people think or what is right to do and what's wrong to do because I don't see any reason to stop myself from fulfilling my impulsive thoughts or doing whatever I want to do um, and it, it's quite a good life when you're free and it's it's kind of weird because it's this in, in, in invisible force stopping people from following instincts and from doing what they want do what you want do as thou wilt the, the Aleister Crowley way the satanic way people there's this invisible force stopping people from doing what they want our conscience God this Aurora girl is ridiculous the, the two videos I've made about her I've never gotten more thumbs down in my life young people <laughs> defend her and get so angry when you point out the truth she is talking about doing as she wants. She doesn't know what's right and wrong. She just does what she w does what she wants. That's the satanic way of doing things. My star sister will be support for me at my shows in Norway. Together we will summon the devil into the house and sing until the darkness devours us all. I'm so excited to have her with me. You're all in for a treat, a treat from hell. Here's the video I made, 48 thumbs up, 43 thumbs down. 
63 thumbs up, 72 thumbs down on the Aurora videos. The truth will set you free. This is their channel. I will leave the, the link in the description box below. Go check it out. It's a good video. They have more videos on their channel. God bless you. The truth will set you free in these last days exposing the world for what it is. People will defend this person. It's a shame. It breaks my brain. Please wake up, everyone, and see the truth of what our entertainment and more really is. God so thank you, Josh. Love your love your videos. Um, and did oh he did he put the link in right there too. Yay. Yes, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And you could also put in brackets um, eternal life because God does want to give us a second life, and much more can be said about that. Truth is in Christ. Truly, we are in a battle for our souls. Evil manifesting daily before our eyes in all applications. And as the day gets closer, the manifest manifestations will increase. It's terrifyingly obvious. Peace of God be with all who are in Christ. Very poignant. <sighs> she was born Jewish, so not surprised. Is that true? I don't know. I don't know this person very well. Someone asks the question, is this a boy or a girl? It, it looks like a female. That's not her. Did they do a video together? Because they, they know that um, he might just be setting up for other stuff in his video. If this is a, a man or a woman, I don't know. I, I'm not familiar with this channel. There are other things that I want to get on to as well. Um, okay, so this person is doing a whole entire video on this phenomena of people talking about how they have given their bodies over to demonic entities and true to form the world's just like yawn you know they don't care oh i just you know i've got other entities living inside me it's totally normal you know that a society has been completely lobotomized with the mass media programming when you have people who are saying that wow when you yeah, exactly. The Matrix, exactly. When you have people who are saying that that there are spirits inside of them, not nice spirits, and uh, people are just like, huh, so what? Who cares? Beyonce looked good, though, right? When she was all possessed and stuff, she looked good. Well, anyhow, so I want to show you from God's perspective what's what's going on here. Did you see her weird video where... You know, things progressed from like Lady Gaga, who would have people puking on her in performances as performance art, don't you know? And then she would, you know, have these displays. You know? Yeah, they'd have these displays um, of all this blood. Well, now Aurora has kind of taken that and run with it, too. Um, so when a star. When, when a star or an artist or whatever you want to call them starts doing stuff like that, it just makes way for more of them to come. A younger version, uh, a version that has more energy. And with it becomes this whole teaching philosophy from their soul to yours. From their playing with the spirits, because they are real, to your playing. Yeah, evil feeds on itself, yes. So God is talking about here in, in Jude, he's warning about these people that would come. And the nature of him is that these, however, whatever things indeed have not yet seen, they speak of evil. Whatever things then naturally as irrational animals. So God is talking about false uh, teachers that would come and he likens them to irrational animals. And I love the book of Jude. This is Jesus's brother. So I went to go look at what is what is irrational. And it's a Strong's 249. I don't know how to pronounce that. Without reason, without reason, irrational, contrary to reason. And from God's perspective, completely absurd. God says this is how people would be at the end of time and be encouraging one another. So this word, and um, it means properly, counter to reason, unreasonable, literally Non-reason, no logic. This is how God sees people at the end. Refers to, look at this, irrational behavior, thinking from God's point of view. What is completely against divine reason. It means acting like a brute beast, utterly unreasonable and absurd. Describes behavior that lacks sound moral reasoning. So Aurora just said that she has nothing that controls her impulses. When men do that, 
um, sexually than they rape a woman, it's the same thing. And not only men do that, but um, we do not act out every impulse that we have. There are moments and times where you want to wrap your hand around somebody's throat and choke them because of your flesh. But in your brain, you go, that's wrong. That's not good. God doesn't like that. It's not nice to kill people and you're going to go to jail for it. It's not healthy to act out every impulse that you feel. But she's promoting an antichrist agenda and she's like a brute beast.